Most of Jamaican's births occur in the hospital. And in this case, we can see that the representative from the RGD, Registered General's Department, called the registration officer, is responsible for registering these births at the hospital. Now, while the registration officer is responsible for registering the births at the hospital, what if a baby was born outside of a hospital, probably at home or anywhere else? The parents or parents are responsible for registering a birth that occurs outside of a hospital. But let's say the parent or parents are unable to register this birth then a relative someone in the house where the birth happened meaning an occupant the person lives there or an adult that was present at the time of the birth has the opportunity to register the child if the parent or the parents cannot do so. Know that we are aware that births that occur outside of the hospital, the parent or parents, an occupant of the household where the birth happened, or any adult that was present at the time of the birth can register the child as well as a relative. Knowing all of this, where does this person go when the birth occurs outside of the hospital? Where does the relative go? Or the parent or the parents? Anyone that I have listed before, where do they go? Any one of the persons that I listed before must go to the LDR local district registrar and this should be done no later than six weeks or a year after baby is born or after the birth just as in part one of this video the father must be present at the time of registration in order for his name to appear on the birth certificate when that is applied for. So the father has to go to the LDR and sign that he wants his name to be on the birth certificate of that child. Now, an important fact to note is that all births should be registered in the district in which they occur. Example, if the birth occurred in Spanish Town St. Catherine, then that birth should be registered at the LDR, Local District Registrar, in the district of Spanish Town or in Spanish Town. This is important because it plays a huge part in a number that is given to you when you register a birth. It's a unique number for an individual or for that birth. So the person that visits the LDR to register the birth will then pay a registration fee. After they pay this registration fee, you are issued a certificate of registry of birth. When you get this certificate of registry of birth, within a two months period, you can apply for an official birth certificate. But are you curious as to how a birth is registered in a hospital? A video of that will be linked in the description for you to check out. It is the first part to this video. Thank you for watching. Later, peace.